guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Um, I kind of want to try something a little bit different. I want to actually attempt to stop overthinking things and just do them and kind of go with the flow. So I think tonight we're just going to pour and I will show you the dried results on Thursday because I want to start putting out more videos for you guys and that editing process of waiting three days for them to dry is taking a little bit too long for my taste. So tonight we're going to be doing something really fun. I'm going to be using Mixed Media Girl's big old 32 ounce split cup, but I'm not going to fill it up all the way. I have actually put a dot on there of to where I want to stop. So I'm hoping this is about 21 ounces of paint. Might be slightly more, but I'm okay with that. So we're going to be using this. You can find these on Mixed Media Girl's shop on Etsy which I really like her split cups, they're awesome. The other awesome thing tonight, we are using our Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents in Black Garnet. Again, let me move this out of the way. And that's this one. I love this color. So I'm trying something very different for me with this tonight, and I think it's gonna turn out really, really neat. So this is our first color. This is the next one that we're using, is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Deep. And this is kind of shocking to me. So I think it's going to turn out really cool. This is the Cadmium Yellow Deep. And we also have Amsterdam Greenish Blue here, which I really love this color. I realize I say that every time we use it, but it's true. <laughs> this makes me very happy. Okay, and then this one is Amsterdam Titanium White with some... Um, Decor Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in Pure White. And I believe there is a little bit of Modern Masters Pearl in there also. So, uh, last but not least, we have our Pevio Studios Iridescent Blue Green. And I don't know if I want to use as much of this as I normally would. So, I kind of want the garnet and the yellow to play together really, really well. Okay, that's a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. Let's layer our cup. This is the exciting part. Okay, so let's put a little bit. It's so funny, my mom was here and we were editing the video and I kept saying, so, and she's like, <laughs> she was cracking up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of yellow in the bottom. Not a lot at all. And then a tiny bit of white on top of that. And now we're gonna go into that beautiful black garnet. Looking a little dirty there, huh? Hmm? They're looking a little dirty? No. It's layered carefully down the side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and a smidge of white again. And now we're gonna use our blue green. So there is a thicker layer of the black garnet. Do a thicker layer of the blue green. And I'm gonna come in with my iridescent blue green now. So I'm not actually using, I don't know, if, did I tell you the gold? I didn't tell you about the gold. Okay, I also have Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics 24 karat gold over there, but I'm not using it in the pour because I want to put that down as a base coat because I want to see if we can get those little gold cells to pop up, which I really, really, really like. Okay, we're going to go back to our yellow again. Kind of a thicker layer this time. And I'm just going to, no, see, I'm still checking. I'm using the white in between the colors a sort of a barrier because I don't know what exactly will happen if the yellow blends with this black garnet and I don't really want to find out so <laughs> okay I probably went past my line didn't I <laughs> it's only a few ounces all right what was I doing okay we're gonna go a little bit of white on this side on the bottom and then we're gonna put some of this iridescent blue green in and then some more white. Oops, don't fall. And some of our blue, green blue. I keep calling it blue green, but it's greenish blue. And then a smidge of white again. And some black garnet. Turquoise and blue green. 
That's why greenish blue, blue green. Okay. <laughs> That's Huh? That's yeah, but it's got to be even the other side, and that's okay. Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care. All right, and we're going to end this one with some garnet, too. I think I'm going to put a little bit of blue on top of both because I don't want a lot of the Bach garnet coming out first. Okay, now I'm ready. So that's the 24 by 24. I'm going to take the back and put my push pins in, all nice and purdy, ready to go, just like that big old cup. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, so this is thinner than all of that. This also has Liquitex Gloss Medium in it and Floetrol, but I have added a lot more water to this one, so just barely leaving a mound and then sinking. So we're going to start with a big puddle of this in the center, and I'm also going to put some on the corners. I guess I'll have to do the corners until after we pour it. Let's pour it. Okay, this is going to be fun. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Here we go. Old pearly cells underneath. Okay. Let's spread that out. Actually, let's tilt this back and forth just a touch to get it going over the gold. Because I don't want it just pushing the gold. I actually want it to slide on top of there. voted for Wiley e. Coyote versus the Roadrunner. <laughs> okay, let's start this real quick. keeping a tub of water over here and it's very helpful so when I'm done I just wipe them down and then I stick them in the tub of water and before I use it I just wipe the water off which is awesome okay one of them out there singing you do have road runners. I did I've seen one road runner here it was a tiny little thing though it wasn't big. <laughs> I expected it to be much bigger and standing up taller. So you used to too. Meet me. Exactly. Okay. So 
So before you guys get mad at me for using the 24 karat as our flow extender base coat, this cup was mixed up a while ago and it's been sitting there and I literally thinned it down a lot. So leftover paint that I'm using. And I did want to try this experiment. See, I don't have the gold in the pour itself and I want to see if doing this is going to make those gold cells pop up for us. So I'm not crazy. There is method to my madness. Well, I might be crazy too, but that's okay. A little bit of paint on the edges and the sides. I guess these are the sides and those are the edges, huh? Watch, we're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff on the sides. <laughs> Of cells on the side. <laughs> so there's a whole bunch of really, really, really exciting things about to happen. And I can't quite tell you guys about them just yet, but lots of fun stuff coming up that I'm like so excited about and so just totally jazzed about. I can't wait. Literally, I can't wait. <laughs> okay. But you're making the rest of us week. Well, I'm just telling them that there's stuff that I'm excited about. They don't ask me because I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. All right, that's looking pretty cool. Let's move that over and move that into the water. I'm wet my hand off. Shoot, paint, and get kissed. That's me. <laughs> okay, so this is looking awesome. I really do actually like that yellow with the with the black garnet, and I love the blue, the greenish blue. I'm gonna say it right this time, and I like the iridescent blue green, and I love that that little bit of satin enamels in there is giving us some of these poofy, poofy, cloudy cell type things. So let's tilt this out. I'm gonna go down to that corner first. I do expect this, hopefully it won't roll over itself too much more. There you go, it's sliding in a little bit, but that's okay, we're almost there. And go over that edge.
So the reason it's not really rolling over smoothly on that corner is either the paint was still too thick or I didn't quite have enough of it there. And that's why it was getting stuck. So thin out your flow extenders and base coats. This is looking pretty cool, I gotta say. Sally sells. Woohoo! I'm just gonna fix this corner. It got missed. With some straight black garnet. And take care of that. Okay, that's good. That can use a little tiny bit too. Okay. okay, this is looking really cool. I love what's happening in here. Let me wipe my hands away. Hold on. Let me finish doing the corners and then I'll wipe to everything. <laughs> set up the environment for them to show up, and they did. It's just science. Well, it's science, not just science. Science is awesome. Okay. There we go. That's good. Okay. Now I wanted to go back this way a little bit. All right. Let's give that a quick torch. gold cells on the side. <laughs> but there's some starting and I think when we torch it there's a few in there. I like these lines. That's really cool. I see a little bit of green which I was a little worried about but that's okay. It's dark enough that it doesn't bother me. It's a feature on a bug. I just want to get that center a little more towards the center. this 3D vortex that's sucking me in. <laughs> Stay here with me, I need you. <laughs> this is gonna dry awesome and I will show you guys on Thursday in the next video because I want to start painting more frequently and showing you guys more videos because I always want to paint and it's a bummer if I can't so <laughs> oh should I show them the the test one let me show them the test one too okay hold on let me put this out of the way out of this way so I really wasn't sure I wasn't sure about the black garnet with the yellow, so I decided to test one, test it out. It came out pretty cool, I like it. So that's the other one. So I will show you both of these on Thursday. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. I'll see you on Thursday.